Hello and welcome to another modelling video. This is Alan from the Mukonaman at YouTube with a, another modelling tutorial. Today I'm going to be demonstrate the most effective way of drilling holes as detail in your model kits. Now it may seem extremely um, straightforward but I've just got a couple of uh, tips to pass on. Um, look at a couple of uh, tools and just uh, demonstrate some um, interesting ways that you can enhance your modelling through drilling holes that you may not necessarily have th thought of. And normally we would use a pin vise, and this is a traditional, very affordable, very cheap pin vise you can buy in electrical shops. And you just have a pin anywhere from um, half a mil to a couple of mil, and you'd find the uh, correct hole that would uh, sit in one of these chucks. You get uh, four of them, slip the needle in, and tighten it as tight as you can. Over time the thread does uh, break down and the needle continuously pushes into the pin vise making it not so effective. I've had a lot of trouble with them and do not use them anymore. Now buy a wave for about 20 bucks in Japanese yen and probably a few more for shipping and whatnot. You can get this uh, push one which has um, a hex piece, you pull it up Choose the drill bit of your piece, which can be bought from most online hobby shops. Uh, plonk it in, there's a little groove, there's little bearings, goes down, and it's strong as. It's that quick to change the drill bits, and it's uh, very effective at drilling holes. These are titanium tipped drill bits. Uh, the thinner ones will uh, wear out over time and break. The thicker ones will last for the majority of your modeling career if you only drill plastic. I find this, um, if you've got the money, which uh, would be quite pricey, the most effective and worth buying. The last one, which is a tad cheaper, is the Mr. Hobby one. And the best thing about the Mr. Hobby one is uh, you get eight, uh, the most standard sizes, one, 1 1.5, 2, 2.5 and 3 millimetres, what you're most likely going to use, that's all I've got in the uh, Wave one, comes in a handy uh, box and uh, you just drill using this, uh, it'll probably set you back about 20 bucks whole thing, shipping, everything and uh, the only downside is if you break one of the skinny needles which is most likely your one and after a few years 1.5 you'll have to buy a whole new set um, all in all again I, I uh, recommend the Wave um, if you're really into your scratch building and uh, modeling if you're just casual about it, the Mr. Hobby will uh, set you just as much as a heap of drill bits and your basic entry pin vise. Now, interesting places to drill holes, and what you'll probably do 90% of the time is rifles. Rifles, guns, machine guns, Gatling guns, normally is a solid piece, and there is no hole at the tip, which would require you to drill out. Now, by some freak chance, uh, this gun does have a hole in it, so that's completely um, redundant. Another one, which is particularly common in uh, Gundam kits, is uh, thrusters around the body and under the feet that are not in a bell, so little verniers like uh, this. You should see that uh, there's a tiny hole right there. And it's not exactly necessary, but drilling that out all the way through um, does yield to better results. On uh, surface detail, we've got those uh, little uh, dimples. Now, you could either drill halfway through the plastic or almost all the way through, or all the way through, and it just gives it a tad more definition. Now, since all the way through, it just goes to another layer of plastic. I'm going to drill it all the way. And the mono eye, this plastic mono eye, I'm going to also drill out and replace it with a crystal. So I'll demonstrate first with uh, the thruster. What we're going to do is using a hobby knife, you want to score the very center. So you plug it in and you twirl around to make a hole. So all it is is a slight crater. Now the thing is you've got a point on it and your plastic is very very smooth so if you put your drill bit on smooth plastic apply pressure and twirl it to dig into the plastic there is a chance it'll slide through and go in the incorrect area and uh, drill the wrong detail cause scarring 
and just make your hole look misaligned, not straight, etc. So we've got a point, the very point of the drill bit um, is in the tiny crater that we made with the knife by stabbing it in the plastic and spinning. And then um, just uh, and uh, just with no force, spin it. Allow itself to get uh, familiar. Now the um, grooves in a drill and the point of it is quite sharp and over time with use it does wear out. It is possible to sharpen drill bits. I don't know how to do it and with ones this fine, I'm not sure that it's possible. This is why we replace them over time. And then you just apply a little uh, force, but not too much because if you put too much, you break it. But just enough until after a while, you start seeing material and fine dust coming out. If you see that happening, then you know that uh, you're at the right pressure to remove material. Over time, um, move the debris out of the way because it gets in the way of your drilling and quite regularly clean your drill off and uh, reinsert. So you want to take it out up the times. And once you feel it's breaking through, um, just push ever so gently while spinning and just spin as you push through. And when you pull out, it's also important to keep spinning because you don't want to rick your drill, drill bit by just pulling. Also, well, apply as little force as possible. You don't want to bend, split, chip or break your drill bit. And as always, minimal force, spin. If you don't see dust coming out after 30 seconds, attach more force, attach more force. The skinnier, anything under 1.5 mil, you have to be so careful with. And there you go, you can see the difference between the two. It is also an option, you don't have to just drill all the way through, like how I demonstrated. Once you've removed some material, if you keep checking on it, and if it's at a depth you're happy, you don't have to drill all the way through. And you can sort of mimic it with each pieces, remembering how many times and how much pressure you put on not to drill all the way through. We're going to drill through all um, through this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to score the very tip. This is a round bit. It's a bit tricky And you can see that I got the end of the Knife in the very tip and I'm just ever so slowly swivel swiveling Now I want to drill all of that out, but it's actually customary before I put the big neat, um, drill bit in, I'm going to drill a hole initially with the small one and then I'm going to keep widening the hole until I get to something this big. If the plastic is very fragile or you're doing it through a very brittle material, it is possible to crack, tear or distort the plastic with a really big drill bit, especially if you're putting force. It's easier just to initially drill a hole with something small and then just widening it. Now we can see that there's a hole all the way through but we want to widen that hole. So changing my drill bits to 1.5 to 2.5, I probably should go to 2 to 2.5 but this plastic here being a Bandai kit is quite strong it actually sits perfectly on the hole. As I ever so slowly turn, the thicker the drill bit, the slower you should go. You can see all that material coming out. And you can see initially it's exactly what I want. It's ever so slightly off center, but after I'll show you how you can actually adjust holes ever so slightly or even slightly enlarge them if your drill bit is uh, not doing the job that you want it to do. There we go, went through really quickly because all we're doing is widening the hole. Now you can see that it's not exactly on center and we want it to actually be a lot wider, uh, wider. So I want that bit of material gone and to be wider. 
So what we could do is uh, put our knife in the hole and you just slowly twirl and it only enlarges the hole from the top, not the other side. So it sort of becomes a bit like a funnel. So it's uh, enlarging nicely, but I still got a bit of uh, mono eye left here and none here. So what I'm going to do is only swivel it there and there only and just eliminate it. Don't put too much pressure. Move the material as we go and we can see that it's exactly how we want it. Now I'm going to put it back in and just ever so lightly just clear the debris, not actually cutting into the material and um, There we go, I might get a bit of sandpaper and just remove any of the bit of dags in. I might want to go on the other side and twirl a bit. And yeah, that's done. Now a thing that can happen, it's all drilled out and I've got the holes on each side. And when it's assembled and on the piece, and you look at the model, you might be able to see all the way through, which ruins the illusion that you're modelling after the real thing. So I mixed some putty, and I'm going to apply some of it on the other side, in the inner part, and make it so that it is filled. Now, making sure that when you squeeze the putty in, you do not actually force it um, through the hole out again. Get a toothpick and just uh, make sure that your holes are still holes. And you can see the difference between the putty being forced in the putty that's not. For the mono eye hole, I'm just going to stick my finger in the reverse bit and with a wet Q-tip just push in and twirl. And that way the mono eye can sit in there sunken. That's uh, everything done and you can see with uh, all the pieces here. The, the detail is uh, significantly more interesting. It is a very small modification that you can make all over through Gundam modeling, military modeling, sci-fi, anything that you choose. If it's a car, you might want to drill out the exhaust, the guns, the gun hole, anything that may uh, be appropriate to uh, have a hole. Uh, the technique is exactly the same. I probably showed a little more than what's uh, required, but... That's about it. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, until uh, next time, um, again, good for painting and people who don't paint their kits, and it just adds that tiny extra definition and development and uh, detail that your kit will have that others may not necessarily go through that extra effort. Catch you guys next time.